Potent Pondering back with another video. Yo, please come in, thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, hit all notifications so you have my videos in your possession each and every time I go live or I do uploads. Shout out to all of my new subscribers, my returning subscribers. Please make sure that you support the channel. The Cash App link is in the description of the video. Cardi B, Cardi B, Cardi B. Listen, it never fails, especially when it comes to release date because you know Cardi got a new record coming out tonight, right? We're robbed at 49. It leaked online. To me personally, it's it's a miss. It's like Shorty been missing the whole year, right? But the, the reason why I'm here making this video and we're going to get into it is in regards to Joe Budden. So it's a clip floating around online with Joe Budden saying that he felt as though that Cardi B was not going to be releasing the album this year. Um, right. So he said that he didn't feel like Cardi B was going to be releasing the album and that he felt as though that she was going that she's going to be just a single like a feature artist. Right. Which she doesn't even really do that well. Let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? She don't even the, them gal don't even do that well, right? Cardi B is in this real peculiar pe peculiar space where she's very extra she's extra emotional because she doesn't have that same demand like when she first came in the game. You know, Nicki trailblazed it, blazed it. Nicki had a few misses. Every artist has a few misses here and there, right? But Cardi is too early into her career and she she's facing a lot of fatigue. That's the best word to, to describe it. Fatigue. Collaboration flop fatigue. Single flop fatigue. No impact on other artists fatigue. So Joe Budden says that Cardi B, you know, that she's going to be a singles artist. And like, you know, saying that pretty much that he had a hunch from somebody from her record label saying that, you know, that there is not going to be an album or whatever. Right. So within moments of this clip going around on social media, within moments. Right. Cardi B comes out and she goes on spaces and the girl spacing. Listen, listen, this she Cardi, listen, I gotta wait till I get to that part because I don't wanna get ahead of myself, right? So Cardi comes out and she's upset, furious at Joe Budden, talking about he always got negative things to say about her when it comes to her music and releases or anything. Now, I'll be honest with you. You know how I give it up over here. The nicest thing that I will say about Cardi is that she looks nice sometimes and that her kids are beautiful. That's the only nice thing that I say. I don't like how this girl that has no love for our culture coming over here and now she just feel like she's a part of it because whoever she sucked and blew and rode and, you know, rode through the strip club to get through these channels. Now she feel like she has a spot here because she just don't want to bow out and just go away because, you know, she she really ain't great. She's not greatness. You could look. Come on. You know that that's not black excellence. That's not black girl magic. It's not excellence. I don't care how you feel watching this video. I don't care how brainwashed you are, hoodwinked, and you don't praise people in your community in your community who don't look like you and you looking at her like she's some she's some she's some somewhat of a goddess if you think that cardi b is a goddess you don't know what god is <laughs> that's how i feel about that so anyway she's going in on joe Bunnan talking about how she when she used to twerk and pop a lot you know on him in the strip club and talking about she gave him two lap dances and said that she she smelled the um cocarina on his breath what you know how you know how it smelled how you know how it smell? Cause me, I never used that, and me, I don't know what it smell like. How you know how how you know what cocaine smell like? That's crazy to me. That's crazy. I don't think I'll get in trouble for saying the word coke. She said she smelled it on his breath. How you know what that smell like, Cardi? Cause you was always mixed around in that and in, in them types of situations, willing to get down in missionary position for a person just to pay your rent in them strip clubs. You wasn't just stripping. Mm -mm, you wasn't just doing that. No, I don't believe it. So anyway, she's saying Joe always had nasty things to say about her. Then she went moved on to talk about Nikki in a in a little discreet way. She was like, Why why you why you talking about me for? Because um you got an interview or whatever whatever and you know what interview she's talking about she 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 inter joe budden interview with nikki nikki is a goat bitch you're not a goat you ain't a goat you just somebody who got in this game and trying to float that's it you 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 literally are struggling because you don't have a nikki story right now that's why the stamina with the the, the you know the static with bia and the little shit that you tried with jt it ain't work it ain't work it's not giving you that static like you want so stop so listen, so then she's talking about the Joe Budden, you know, um, if you want my album, come by to the studio, come by to my studio. If you want to listen to the album, TT Torres, another bitch I don't like this. Listen, you know, these, these Spanish, Hispanic chicks, this is not to everybody who, who supports my channel, but if you feel a way, I have no way. I, I don't listen. This is, I have to speak truly from the soul, from the heart. A lot of them feel a way towards black women. TT Torres, who is a director, a program director at Hot 97, not only did she try to disrespect Nikki on Miss Deb's show that Miss Deb does. Um, she tried to disrespect 
disrespect Nikki, uh, like her artistry on that show. But I also know that them one thing about them Hispanic chicks or Latina chicks, they're going to stick together over anything. And I personally felt like T.T. Torres was slowing up Nicki Minaj's um, radio play over at Hot 97 and pushing and making Cardi B priori priority. If you're a program director, I could tell. I don't care if she following Nicki on Instagram. You seen what she said in that show. She's shady. She said, so she said to Joe Buttons, oh, T.T. Torres, she heard my album, whatever. The only reason you let her hear your album because she got you on, because you know that you, you're going to benefit in some sort of way. Stop playing these reindeer games, Cardi. Christmas gone, New Year's been over and about to come again. Stop it. So anyway, so that was that. And then she mentioned like, you know, you keep playing with Brim. And to me, when I seen that online, I said, that's like, she's trying to, she's trying to threaten him on some gang shit, right? And you know, the sad thing about it is Cardi B is a pussy. She's a pussy, but you know what? She leans in on the star Brim. She leans in on the black guys that she sent to the strip club to beat up them black women. That's what she leans in on. She's not no gangster. Using black people, once again, she uses black people as a crutch. So she's trying to signal to Joe Brother, you want to talk about the Brim. As in like signaling like she might get niggas to do some shit, right? Listen, us people who do content creation, we have the right to say whatever we want to as long as we stay within the boundaries, right? When I do these videos and I upload them, I don't go through any chase about getting monetized. I say what I want. I open up this camera. I speak and I, and I upload it and I click monetize, right? I know how to stay within the parameters. I could open this camera and say whatever I want to. And it just angers me that Cardi B, she think that people are supposed to coddle her all the time, right? You see how nasty, rude, and malicious that people... People have said nasty things about Nicki Minaj, right? To the point where so many people who would have just probably unalived themselves or even like they probably would have unalived themselves or just gave up and like, you know what? Let them have it. You know, I've, I've, I've attained a lot. This and that. We probably wouldn't have gotten a world tour or nothing like that, right? But and she and she benefited off of that. And she didn't say during those times when those people would be going in on Nikki, she ain't say, yo, yo, chill. Don't do that. You know what I mean? Don't don't go in and don't, you know, don't say don't say that about her or whatever, right? No, she benefited because she's a racially ambiguous bitch who came into this game and she wanted to fucking dominate and wanted to erase Nicki Minaj for whatever reason, right? So then Cardi was, um, you know, she kind of was like shady to Megan Thee Stallion, I personally believe, because she was just like, why you ain't talking about none of these other bitches? Do you know they albums out or whatever the case may be right now? Cardi was really Cardi was really in her feelings. And I think she's in her feelings because her impact in the 2024 year has just been down. She came out with this big, huge scheme and plan to drop, 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 drop at the beginning of the year. And we all seen what that was. Freestyle flopped. Megusta flopped. Enough flopped. Remix with Flo Millie flopped. Remix with that, that song with the... Uh, with the Hispanic guy flop. Uh, what's that song with um, Shakira flop? Everything to your name flopped. You jumped on the remix with Glorilla and all of them flopped. Joe Budden has been kind to you. This is the channel that you're going to get the, you know, where I'm going to come for the ethics portion. I'm going to come from the ethics angle and I'm always going to report on that angle. You're like, listen, you might be rich and you've built yourself up and, you know, shout out to anybody from the ghetto who's pulled themselves up and all of that, right? But I see far too many black women struggling and striving in this game. If you ask me, Sexy Red still deserves more you know um sexy red deserve more they could push i mean doja cat gets a lot of play but i'd rather listen this is why i'm never mad when she get her little accomplishments because i'd rather her than you you ain't even talented i don't even care if she got some kooky quirky white girl art girl shit going on she's more t oh shit oh, oh, oh. She's more talented than you. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, I just don't appreciate Cardi B just coming out and just trying to, like, lambast Joe Budden. Joe Budden denied and said that he that Cardi never gave him a, um, a lap dance. He also said that he never did coke, right? So I personally believe how how uh, Cardi sued Tasha K. Joe Budden should sue... Should shoot, how Cardi sued Tasha K. Joe Budden should... Sorry, y'all. I ran out of space. I had to start over. So listen... Joe Budden should sue Cardi B because that's a crazy allegation for you to just get up on the space and just spew out just because you mad over the fact that he said that your album ain't dropping. And personally, you don't know who he's talking to. You don't know what type of connections you got. Just because you sit up in them offices with them white people and you think that they ain't leaking out the information or what. Come on. You don't know who he talks to or what information that he has. He's been in this industry for a long time. And don't be mad at nobody just because you coming up insufficient, right? You do, you did all these records this year, this year and none of them went anywhere. So that's just crazy to me. Like, yo, I just don't like Cardi B. I don't. I be trying to like, listen, what I always do in my commentary is be fair about certain things. Like, she looked nice. Like, very surface level things. She looked nice. Oh, she, you know, you could tell mommy, Cardi was in mommy mode. Yeah, you know, beautiful kids. That's the only thing I got nice to say about her. That's it. Because you are, ooh, you are a leech in this hip hop game, laying down a missionary position for these black men, busting, busting off inside of you roughshod. 
busting off in you and you want to sit up on these on spaces and use the n-word over and over and over yo i don't like her i don't but guess what if you do something and there's some sort of like commentary that can go around it i'm gonna talk about it right this is the nature of the business it's like it just is what it is i'm gonna talk about it upload it and then people gonna leave their opinions about it like you can't control it people talk down on nikki all the time and get millions of reviews on it right before her tour kicked off it was a video up on youtube that that people put out and they was just trying to say all types of crazy stuff about her got over a million views and guess what the tour is still sold out you are a pussy you don't belong here you don't go here they not like us they not like us you don't got the skin you don't got the thick skin to take this and that doesn't mean that you're supposed to just take pain and people mistreating you all the time but cardi you know what you give attention to you you in the algorithm of everybody talking about you and you feel like you got to debunk everything. Talking about my packaging and my boxes and all of this and that is ready. So then put it out then. You always trying to wait for some perfect moment because you watching and clocking everything Nikki. You can't even be yourself. You literally held this album up for years just to see who's going to do what first. And Nikki came out, bombed it, but tore all of that. Like, what are you doing? You can't get mad at people, at content creators for saying what's on their mind. And if I was Joe Budden, I wouldn't stop talking about you. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't care how big my channel grows. Nobody's going to tell me what I can talk about and what I can't talk about. So listen, get in the comments. Let me know what you think about Cardi B. I'm just tired of the gal. I'm tired of her. So listen, get in the comments. Let me know what you think about Cardi B, uh, you know, going in on Joe Budden. Let me know what you think if Joe Budden was rude in his remarks, you know, what he said. Like, do you think that that was rude or do you think he has not We all forecast stuff in our commentary. Sometimes I say things and it might not came to pass, but I'd be like, I think this is what happened. Just like I think Cardi is trying to get her pre-sales up so that she could try to like debut big like Nikki. Trust me, this is my thoughts. Did it happen yet? No, but that's my thoughts. She's always trying to keep up with Nikki, but she don't like her. She don't like her. Oh, because you're doing this to pander to this, to pander to that. You always worried about Onika, Tanya, Mirage. Worry about Cardi B and Offset. Worry about that. Pote and ponder and never pander and subscribe to the channel. Support the channel. The Cash App link is in the description below. I'm up out of here. Peace.